What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Hard Angle Barn YouTube channel. In the last video about this Harbor Freight manual tire changer with the uh, duckbill mod on it, it was brought to my attention in the comments that I was actually putting the uh, truck tires on wrong, which is why I was struggling with them so hard. And upon further investigation, they actually were correct. I was putting the tires on wrong. And since this back tire on the Maxima keeps going flat every couple of days, I figured it was a perfect opportunity to take this tire, pop it on the tire machine, and with the information I was just given, give Mountain these tires another shot and seeing how much easier it is doing it the correct way. As you can see, I've drilled out the bottom plate with a couple different lug patterns so that I can stick a bolt up through it and bolt the wheel down with the lug nuts. Just a more secure way to hold it down than by using this thing. Now, I'm not too worried about scuffing these wheels because they're not in perfect condition anyway, but I like to put a mat down anyway to try to protect the rim a little bit. And you don't have to do this, but I like to stand on the tire when breaking the bead because sometimes you get the whole bead to go at once. All right, I got the tire too close. Just trying to pick the tire up. All right, maybe I can step it off. Yeah, here we go. It's hard to do in boots. Tip the whole bead off. Yep, it's off the bead. Flip it over to the other side. You want to pull it out till it stops trying to flip the rim. Yep, it was off. All right, so we're done with this part. And it's time to bolt the wheel down. All right, now that the rim is securely bolted down and the uh, tire machine is nice and wobbly, I like to spray the bead down with Dawn. I put real bead lube on and put the tire on, but it's much easier just spray Dawn in it when I'm taking it off. Let's put the attachment on, get these things loose so I can adjust it. And you gotta get it down in between the tire and the rim. Just like that. All right, we're gonna get the uh, length set. The height is set. Tighten it all down, nice and snug. Make sure it free spins all the way around. That means we're good. And now, we're gonna get a tire iron. Using your fancy anti-scuff uh, tire iron, or in my case, one covered in electric tape. You should be able to pull this up on. All right, there we go. And then let's see if we can spin it. There we go, tire iron popped out. And then we're off to the races. Whoops, hit the tripod. There we go, tire's off. All right, and the tire is now completely off. Now using my tire lube, I'm gonna get some lube on the bottom of this tire. Now this lube is a rust inhibitor as well, even though these are aluminum rims on this particular car, but you don't have to be a little afraid to uh, Use it liberally, it gets quite tacky when it's dry. All right, let's throw it back on here. 
I'm going to do the this bead off camera, and then I'm going to do the next bead on camera so you can get a much better view. Now, to show what I was doing wrong, this is what I was doing when I was putting tires on. I was forcing it on with this edge, and it kind of pinches it, which is why I was struggling so much no matter how much lube I used. Now, if I'm correct with the information I was given, this is what it should look like going on. It should be going over the nub on that side and under on this side, and that's actually what will push it on. It will be down, well, it came off, but you'll see. Now, first and foremost, obviously get it nice and lubed up. And now, let's get this in position above the nub, below that one. Get on as much as we can over here. And see how this, how this goes. Now the bottom half was a lot easier. Oh, it came up over the nub. Let's try that again. Back it up. All right, keep it under the nub. Oh, 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 that's so much easier. Okay, that took so much less effort than forcing it on the way I was. All right, let's see if we can get the tire to pop on the bead. Well, I should put the straighter valve in first. Top one, top one's on. I think the bottom one's actually already on. Why are you leaking? So there we have it. Tires up to pressure, it's back on, on and off. Took me 10 minutes. Easy peasy. And I took a break to ride dirt bikes in the middle. But this still, again, is worth the 200 bucks I paid for it. I said that in the first video, I'll say it in this one. Totally worth it. Probably one of the best tools I've bought from my garage. And I want to thank the people who commented on the first video. They presented their argument in a very professional and nice manner. It was constructive criticism. They weren't being jerks about it. And I appreciate that. That has been a game changer actually. That made that so much easier to put those tires on. So as it was told to me, when you're pulling it off and putting it on, you're always going counterclockwise and make sure the tire is making an X across the duck both times on and off. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. I'm glad I revisited this. This was really cool. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video. Talk to you all later. Yeah.